Hi, I'm Christian Schoen. I'm the host of Hometown Heroes. Come and join me to get to know our local heroes and find out why they do what they do and what we can learn from them. Hi, this is Barbara Kennick, and you're watching my story on Hometown Heroes. Thank you so much for being a guest here today at Hometown Heroes, Barbara Koenig. And uh, we invited you because we wanted to hear more about your interesting background and your work that is associated with the Easter Bunny, because you are the Easter Bunny here in Las Vegas. So first of all, are you from Las Vegas? Originally from Detroit, Michigan, born and raised. And we moved to Las Vegas uh, 14 years ago. Are you from a small or a large family? I was the only child. And um, my father was out of the service. He was a, a veteran of the um, Navy. And my mother and I, we had a wonderful small family. The dream kind of shattered when I was uh, 12 years old. And my father was only 42, I believe, passed away suddenly from a, a massive a heart attack. Was there certain court traits that your father passed on to you? My uh, mother and father were, were wonderful givers. They showed me how to care and care for other people. Um, just from little things I remember, my, we would um, be on a trip, a car trip, and um, my father would um, feel it important in those days to pick up hitchhikers. Nowadays, we don't tend to do that as much, but you know, there were um, servicemen hitchhiking and so forth, and he would feel it important to help them get to their destination. And, you know, at the holidays, he was the one who was always bringing the turkey, the toys for the kids, the, the things that his friends who didn't have the same successes in life had. So he was, he was a natural, a natural um, role model for me. So that's where you got, uh, I mean, your compassionate nature from, because you have such a big heart, you're such a loving person. It's basically, it comes from well, your upbringing. You. Thank you. Um, I imagine that, that we can say that for all of us, you know, and if we don't have that kind of loving and that kind of caring and that kind of modeling, that we can't reach um, outside of ourselves to somebody else. You started the Easter Bunny in Detroit. How many years ago was that? It was uh, 1990, and uh, it actually came about in an interesting way, which I will share with you. My husband calls me Bunny. So one day, my son was three years old, and he said, Mom, are you the Easter Bunny? And I said, I looked at Daddy, and he said, we said, yeah, you're the Easter Bunny. It just happened like that, just a little innocent thing like that. And from that, we went on to um, try to make it a good thing for him, to show him the positives of um, doing something good. And he really got the hang of it. Even at the age of, of three, we started having friends and his friends and neighbors um, put together Easter baskets and some even bought some and we'd gather as many as we could and every year got a little bit bigger. Um, when we left Detroit we were giving away about 200 Easter baskets and you know it was a good thing it was a good thing for him and then we started it when we moved to uh, Vegas actually it was in 2001 that we restarted eBunny. Why did you start the eBunny? Really and truly there is a huge uh, population here in Las Vegas of children that are homeless. And I mean homeless. Um, we have a lot of poverty and we have children who are in need in so many ways. Children are living with their parents in temporary housing, you know, week to week, month to month. But when you see children living nearly like they would be living on the streets, that is heartbreaking. And that's why we, we essentially started eBunny uh, here in Las Vegas. Uh, and it took a couple years to get everything moving and putting it together because it really takes a whole community. It takes a village here in Las Vegas. Who's inside of the bunny? We don't fool around. 
we have a young lady by the name of Christine Garcia, who was on the original Lakers cheerleader group, original Lakers girl, with Paula Abdul. And Christine is energetic and um, so animated. The kids go bananas, they love her. Christine is also a cancer survivor. And when we went into the hospital, spent a great deal of time with the children with so much compassion and love and really made a difference in that costume. Hi, I'm the Easter Bunny for eBunny, my favorite charity, because Barbara is the person who loves everybody. What can we say about Barbara? Well, what can't we say about Barbara? Barbara has the heart the size of the universe, and she hates to see people suffer, go without, um, ever have any kind of disappointment or suffering in their life. She would give enormously much more if she could. If she could have five charities, she'd have five. Um, but eBunny is her passion. There's so much love that Barbara has to give that people are willing to do whatever they can to give to her organization. Barbara, I love you. You have been a blessing in my life and a blessing in so many people's lives. And I continue to be part of your organization as long as you have me. And thank you for being so wonderful as you are. So you want to show children that you're there for them? Absolutely. They, the families and the children obviously fe really feel forgotten. You know, they do their best. Some of them don't have the education. The families don't have the education. It, it, it just depends. Some, some of the families have great love. They are struggling, but they have great love for their children and great pride, I might add. Um, and others, families aren't as supportive. So, you know, whatever the kids can take out in a positive way, that's one thing we feel eBunny brings such joy to them. So this grassroots movement that you started is greater than an in individual or any in particular religion. eBunny is really a celebration of spring. And that's how it really started. The, the religious aspect is there. Sometimes the families, the parents will break down in tears and, and thank us, thank all the volunteers that are involved uh, for bringing them those baskets and they take it as a blessing. They will say, thank you so much. We, we felt so alone. It's really, it's a beautiful thing. How many baskets do you give out each year? Typically between two and three thousand. And you've done this now for more than 20 years? 24 years. In 2014, Easter 2014 will be the 24th year. Where do you find strength and energy to do this? Because it's a big commitment that you take, you know. It comes, and if you're spiritual, you believe that you keep going and you keep going. Is there a specific incident or story that has greatly impacted you in regards to the Easter Bunny? The Las Vegas Rescue Mission has a program to feed the chronically homeless. And one Easter evening, my son and I were giving out baskets in that corridor, very, very poor poverty. And the, the uh, adults were waiting for um, their uh, meal in the food line and there aren't supposed to be any kids in there. But we stopped because we saw a child laying in a mother's lap and we pulled over and asked her if she would like to pick out an Easter basket and she was really excited. And, and the next thing you know, uh, some of the adults were saying, well, well here's another child. And, he, and their own little community was like rallying to, to help these children and to give them a little bit of joy. But the best part of the whole thing is we were holding up Bonanza and D Street. There's a, a, the freeway, I think, has a ramp. And all of these trucks were backed up and we had no idea what was going on. So when we finally were ready to leave, all the truck drivers were outside of their trucks, clapping and honking their horns. And they just, they said, what a wonderful thing. What a blessing. That was not, what we expected, but I'll never forget that story. So do you feel this is inherent in people? It just takes someone like you or such an initiative to wake people up in terms of being compassionate and, and care about what you're doing? I think people become inspired by other people doing good. I, I am inspired when I, when I see somebody else um, making a difference in somebody's life in, in any way. Do you feel you have a choice or do you feel that you're born this way? Yes, I'm like Lady Gaga. I was born this way. Do you feel that you can walk away and stop helping the children here in Las Vegas? No. So many years I've, I've not 
felt well or didn't think I was going to, you know, you're worried about how many baskets you're going to be able to raise. You know, we don't take any um, donation in, in terms of cash. People, all we want is their Easter baskets. And it, it, it's worrisome, you know, year after year that you're not going to be able to, to take care of as many children as you did the previous year. And that happens. But, you know, you look back after it's all over and you say, if you reached one, if you reached 2,000, at least you, you got to some of them. Where does your reward come from? Well, I think the reward for, for all of us that, you know, the volunteers, for, you know, everybody that works on eBunny for sure is, is watching the children when they receive the baskets, watching the uh, community offer them with such a love. And it, they can't put the whole thing together, but at least they can give a basket or 20, or 50. You'd be surprised. Last year, a school, ATEC school, it's called, um, the young man took it upon himself and raised 150 Easter baskets. So if, if they want to do it, that's a reward. When you see the, the effect of everybody, you know, around you, bringing in baskets, uh, working on getting more baskets, and you see somebody coming in with 150 baskets, it's amazing. What is your advice to Las Vegas? Whether it's eBunny or um, Three Square, volunteer. How essential is it for the community to unite? I think it's essential for our well-being as individuals. I think it's essential as a community that we come together, especially in a town like Las Vegas. I mean, if we're not doing something for somebody else, what are we doing? It's bigger than us. So the three key items that you mentioned that were essential for your great success is that the cause is greater than any individual and that love is another key item and it's, it's collaboration, working together to achieve this goal. You said it so beautifully. That's absolutely true. In any um, of the wonderful things, uh, the wonderful organizations that go on in this town, the success is due to those things that you just mentioned. How would you like your legacy to be? I would want to be remembered as a good wife, a good mother, and somebody who cared for her fellow man. Thank you so much, Barbara, for coming here today and be a part of Hometown Heroes and also being such a great inspiration role model and for the more than 100,000 lives you have touched here in Clare County. Well, thank you for having me. It's been an absolute honor. My name's Diane Henry and I've known Barbara Koenig for four years. I saw a small article in the newspaper about eBunny and I thought what a wonderful thing to get involved with. And I met Barbara. I gave her a call, I met her, I was hooked on eBunny. It is just such an amazing charity to see the looks on the kids' faces and the difference that Barbara makes with these Easter baskets. She is such a loving, caring person, and I am so privileged to be able to help her. Um, I'm proud to call her my friend. I am just amazed at the difference that she has made. Um, in the lives of so many little kids and, and their families. The big heart that she has and the beautiful person that she is and the months that she dedicates every year to making eBunny happen. She is just passionate about it and her, her passion is contagious. I, I love Barbara and I hope to work with her for many more years. I would want to be remembered as a good wife, a good mother, and somebody who cared for her fellow man. Thank you for joining us. If you are a local hero or you know someone who is, please contact us. See you next week.